Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and discuss what's happening with it. And before we get into that, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in the crypto market, make sure to also click on the bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangeko with a zero at the end. Uh, you can join my Telegram group by clicking on this link here and my YouTube channel by clicking this link up here. All right, so let's get into Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin price has been in a distribution phase for quite some time. If you checked out the, the weekly article that I did last week and the article that I did on Monday and the recording that I did on Monday, right? Uh, in all of these videos, I explain about the distribution phase and how this has marked uh, a top signal uh, and the confluence is present because uh, the price is currently at the midpoint of this crash that you see here, a 45% crash uh, from roughly 31st of May to 18th of June, right? This uh, rejection here coinciding with the distribution phase uh, was a, a very good up signal, which kind of uh, made me short Bitcoin. Uh, I think I shorted Bitcoin somewhere around here, uh, but the price did manage to go up uh, a lot higher. Like uh, fortunately my stop loss was uh, much wider. So I am still in the short position uh, right now, what I'm expecting is for the price to sweep the Monday's low, uh, in which case, like, honestly, I don't I don't expect the Monday's highs and lows uh, to kind of play out right now. But if it does, then I'm expecting the price to go back up, not all the way up, but uh, up to the level where we kind of get this uh, inefficiency down. And once that's done, the price could continue going lower. Right, uh, but that said, there uh, there are two important levels that you should uh, be paying attention to. The first one is the 30-day moving average that you can see here, the red one at roughly 23.2k. On top of that, we have the 200-week moving average at 22.9k, roughly 23k. So basically, uh, once we get a breakdown of $23,000, uh, that's when uh, we know that the bearish thesis is in full effect. In which case, you can expect like, a Bitcoin price to go down to 21.1k. Right, 21.1K is really uh, interesting and important because of the H4 FVD that you see here is currently present at 21.4K. And below that we have 20.7K, which uh, there is equal lows formed here for Bitcoin. So there's liquidity resting below these lows as well. So these are the two levels that I'm looking at uh, to book my profits for Bitcoin. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna probably book profits around uh, support levels present here at roughly 22.6K. Uh, depending on how the situation evolves. So if you want to follow along with this particular trade, make sure to join my Telegram group. Uh, that's pretty much it for today's analysis for Bitcoin. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.